you know what's incredible, and I'll say it again at the end. I mean, we have two, four, six, eight, ten. We have ten people online, and nobody is here mandatorily. Like, uh, it's not like when we put this together, we said everybody has to be on for the whole time. But that's the that's that's why I, you know, I'm so happy that we assembled this group together because I mean, these people are passionate. We're all sitting around hearing each other, learning from each other, and it's just great. So thank you, everybody who's uh, who's on the panel, and thanks to everybody who's watching. This is just great. So uh, let's keep it moving and. Uh, what we're going to do next is I'm going to get my finger right on the applause. Uh, now, Julie Caraccio, uh, her and I uh, have gone back and forth on Google Plus for like a while, and then she did this really cool video with Peter Walsh, and I made some really cool compliments on it, and then we started talking even more than we were just on the pig and then we got on Hangouts, and now I think we're in love, and I'm so happy she's remodeling her kitchen. It looks great. Her husband is a great guy. She's great. And uh, it's just, and, and, and she introduced me to a few other people on the panel. So I got lots of love for Julie, and I want to give a big round of applause. Thank Julie, you. Come on down. You're the next contestant on Bring the Neat 2. All right. Well, first of all, huge shout out to you, Adam, for putting this together because I know how much time it takes to, to create an event like this. And I also want to say, our bar has been raised, so I'm going to keep it raised. We've had an amazing panel, so I'm going to keep the energy and get going. First thing I want to say, if you're not about planet Earth or the polar bears, hopefully in my presentation today you'll see that being green is also about saving money because it's equally important in business. And I want to let you know, uh, Adam, you were a great example. When I first got your product, the first thing I noticed is you didn't waste any of packaging and so that ends up making a huge difference and even if you're like you know what I'm a New Yorker I love the concrete jungle I sneeze when I get near trees it's okay because you made a really smart business decision and I'm betting you saved a lot of money by being really uh, conservative conserving your packaging so the first thing I want to talk about are my seven R's of eco organization The first one is reduce if you don't buy it you don't have to organize it Sometimes we get stuck and it's like the shiny bright object. Oh, 10 for 10, I've got to buy it. Or here's a Groupon, I can get a sweater, but I need to buy three. So the first thing I say is take a deep breath and do you really need to buy it? Can you give an experience or something instead of buying one more object? I'm also a fan of reusing. Now I want to just add something really here that's important at the beginning. Uh, if you're going to learn one thing from today's presentation, invest in Pyrex. Get a uh, Bed Bath & Beyond always has a coupon, Macy's does, and get away from plastic. I don't recommend reusing plastic. But can you take the magazine to the dentist's office? Can you give it to the Girl Scout troop to reuse? If you've just moved, can someone else reuse your boxes to help in moving? So just again, thinking in a different mindset. Return. Now that's not really green, but I see this with a lot of clients. How many of you are holding on to stuff that's not yours? I had a client that had three armoires in his basement. He was holding for a friend to refinish. I'm like, come on now. Or, you know, my father, I mean, it only took him 20 years, said to me a couple years ago, get all your crap outside of the house. You're in your own house. We don't want it anymore. So return is what, what isn't yours. We have reduce, reuse, return, repurpose. Now, at the end of my presentation, I'm going to do a little show and tell if you're good. But go out, buy a case of wine. I always like to say drink wine and get organized. Repurpose that box to hold your Christmas ornaments or your Hanukkah ornaments. It's great. It's color-coded. It's even storage, but that's really good. Are you, Adam, you have a look on your face. Are we good? No, I was going back to the mute button because it, okay. it makes right. so perfect sense. Yeah. We have that. Recycle. When you are letting go of your clutter, just become familiar with your recycling laws. And most professional organizers now have an awareness and are probably going to know what, um, have something on their site about information. But if you can recycle it, it doesn't take a lot of extra time. You know, we've all talked about prep and planning. Have your recycle box, your return box, you know, what you're going to throw away. But know your recycling laws. Repair. Okay, now this I know is a really challenging one. So many times today it seems like we buy something, it falls apart, and we, you know, we just chuck it. What I'm going to encourage you to do, free cycle is a great resource. Now I'm married up in intelligence and I'm very lucky, and my husband's one of those guys that can repair anything. I, however, am not. You know, a couple years ago my weed whacker went out, and I was like, what am I going to do? And they said, oh, it needs this part, and it's going to cost this much. And I was like, you know what? Going up on freecycle.com, there's someone smart out there who's going to be able to repair it and and use it, and they did. And I'm like, I don't care if they make money from it. It didn't go into the landfill. It was able to be repaired and used. So that's something that's repurposed. So you reduce, reuse, repair, repurpose, return, recycle. All right, the last one, rethink. 
and something I'm really passionate about. A lot of times in our society, marketers have made us think that we really need all this. We confuse a want with a need. And really, we don't have a lot of needs. We have a lot, a lot of wants. So I encourage people, rethink your wants and needs. Ask yourself. If you're looking to buy something, does it represent who I am? Does it represent who I want to be? Do I need it, use it, love it? Just start questioning things. Now look, I love leopard print, and in my mind, you can never have too much leopard print. But it's one of those things where I call it my kryptonite. I have to take a step back and say, okay, maybe I'll have to pet the shoes, especially if they're nice and fuzzy, and say, okay, do I really need this? And then take a deep breath and let it go. So those are just a few seven of my tips for ours and your eco-organizing. Now, I'm really excited. Adam wanted me to talk about this. This is a way you can save money. Now, Emily might need uh, resuscitation here shortly because I'm going to be talking about ways that you can let go of clutter in your technology. The first is your landline. I just did some research. 30% of Americans don't use landline. But what's even more interesting is the 70% who do, 50% of that aren't using the landline. Now, we just re papered our kitchen, Adam knows about that, we set off the alarm, so if you're worried, fire department came, we mixed, tried to call them to stop, if you're worried about, because I have an alarm system, I've lived in LA for 10 years, I'm like, there's no way that I'm living anywhere without an alarm. So without a landline, our alarm system works, you can have VoIP or cell phones if you're in a condo or a co-op, they have no issues with working for people to be called up and let in, but your landline is something, because most, that's 40 to $50 a month. I let go of my landline two or three years ago. So that's something, again, I think this is where we really suffer from inertia. It's like people are like, oh, it takes effort to call the phone. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to really encourage you to do that. Now, my husband, this is the one I'm really excited about, because this is going to save you a ton of money. And Adam, you and I have talked on the phone, so you can verify that it's a good sound. I run a business, I have no landline, I no longer have a cell phone. So you're like, what's going on with that? And I know all of you who are watching and all of you are on this panel, you are immersed in social media. Can you imagine what a nightmare it would be to try to change your cell phone number on social media? So what I did is I ported my business number to Google Voice, and it has actually one of Adam's favorite features when someone calls me. My name comes up and, and, it, and it says that before they even get to me. So $20, ported my number to Google Voice. There is an app called Talkatone, which is free. You can download on your phone. You can do it free with ads or pay the whopping 99 cents a month to have ad free on your phone. So I was nervous. I made my husband, I'm like, push the button because if this messes up, I don't know what I'm going to do. So we ported it. I've had no problems. People can hear me. All it is is porting to Google and adding Talkatone. Now, but they we're only on Wi-Fi. So if you're like, you know what, Julie, that makes me too nervous. What we did is we just, because I, I said, eh, I think one of us needs to have something. So we have a really small data plan through Verizon. So what that means, if I'm out and about and there's not a Wi-Fi spot, I turn on my little hotspot and then I have... I have cell service and I can download emails. So I'm covered no matter where I am. But the reality is more and more cities and areas are adding Wi-Fi. And so that just is really increasing your chance. So, I mean, I went from paying $80 a month, when, and it, which is a pretty pretty cheap plan, to only paying 30 for this. But again, if you don't need it and you don't use it a lot, you can get away with not having anything. Another area, so if you can get rid of the smartphone and and move it to the iPad, that's a possibility. Yeah, let me just jump in here one second yes. before you, you change the subject there. So $80 a month, that was the cell phone, or was that with the cell phone and... Oh, $80 a month was cell phone, and 40 to 50 I can't remember, was landline, because I okay. let my landline go two okay. or three so years. We'll, we'll call it 40 So that's $120 a month that you were spending, which, which is what most people are spending, okay? So from there, now, what is your total bill monthly? Well, I just because I have a plan, thir okay. well, thirty and then one dollar for the app, so thirty-one. But that can be eliminated too if you don't need it. You really might want to consider that dollar. That's probably pushing you right over the edge. I know, I know. Okay. So thirty-one dollars. So that's that. It's eighty-nine dollars, but we're going to round up and just call it ninety. So in my head, that's ninety times ten months because I can never do ninety times twelve. So that's nine hundred dollars plus one hundred and eighty. So that's nearly eleven $1 hundred dollars a year that you're saving and something tells me that that $31 somehow 
is going to end up turning into like $20 as soon as the next thing comes and you're on top of it also. So what an amazing finding of, of money without really doing anything that you're not doing already. It's just like learning a new song, right? Exactly, but wait, I'm going to save you even more money, so get I'm out your pen. It's better. Go, go. Now, again, all the credit right. goes to my husband because this really happened because of him. Now, I don't want to say that I'm ahead of the curve, but we are ahead of the curve. The new Consumer Reports that came out, and I didn't read it because I thought it would mess up what I wanted to say, but their front page is how to cut your cable bill. Okay, we don't have a cable bill anymore, so I want to tell you how we did this, and that was $80 a month. Oh, so what we did was we have... Um, I'm, I'm sorry, Google Plus. My husband is an Apple man. So we have Apple TV, which is a one-time deal, but you can also get Google Plus TV if, you know, if you're a Google person. So we can watch this replay. We can watch YouTube. Now, we do have Netflix, which is, I think, a $10 a month plan. And so we don't have cable anymore. So that is our only cost. And we paid... I'm a huge Pittsburgh Steelers fan. And I said, we cannot live without football. So we were at Costco, and they had a little HD... Uh, antenna that was on sale. It was the last one for 20 bucks. So we paid $20. So that's how we get local channels so I can watch football. Right. But we don't have a cable bill. Now, you know, we got, we had a really interesting wedding present. We got Game of Thrones season one and season two. So I was like, okay, I don't know what this is. Ended up loving it. Okay. So we paid, I had to buy season three on Amazon and the price went down. So I paid $25. That's still for season three of Game of Thrones less than my $80 cable bill. Sure, that's awesome. So by adding that other $80 that your cable bill was, so that, that brings it up to nearly $2,000 a year that you're saving. And sure you had to get the Apple TV as a one-time payment, whatever it is, but you have it. You have the HD antenna. And to be honest with you, I mean, I'm, we're in the, in the, I'm in the New York area, so we use uh, Optimum Online. It's great. I love them. They give us the local news, yada, yada. I've never had a problem. I like them so much better than the other big company out here, which I would say their name, so I will, Verizon. So I love them much more. But um, you know, the bottom line is, is that I recently just got the the Google Plus Chrome, or the Google Chromecast, and uh, now I'm watching my online stuff. You know, some of the great Hangouts. Uh, you know, that that a lot of these panelists do. Like when I get home, instead of watching bad TV shows, I'm watching stuff that educates my mind that I can't find on all the let's call it crappy shows that are on regular TV. I mean, some of them are so ridiculous and so mindless. I mean, Game of Thrones, you know, it's, it's good. It's people like it and everything. But there's a lot of stuff out there that isn't good. Um, and some people may argue with us, but we're just nerds and we like stuff like that anyway. So, you know, the bottom line is is that there's so many things you can do. And to find $2,000, I mean, that could be, you know, a down payment on, on, a, on a car in some senses, a small car, a used car, anything like that. It could be a little vacation getaway that you get for your family. But it almost, to Italy, let's, you know, talk about the important things, another sure. vacation. Yeah, and, and I think really probably what it does is it probably gives you a little bit more time to spend with the people around you because you're not – so distracted. I mean, it's, it, it's... It's quality of life. You're not sitting watching someone else's life or whatever. And I'm not bagging stuff. I mean, I have an online television show. I do Google Hangout series, but I'm educating people. So I believe it increases your quality of life. And who better to educate than you, Julie? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, All seriously, right. if you were going to watch something on TV, you want to watch yourself. Of course, I understand. Of course. Now, so it's more great. More suggestions, and hopefully Emily hasn't died of a heart attack because all of this focuses on technology. But camera, unless you are a professional photographer or unless that's your passion, and you know, I just have to say this: if it brings you joy, then it's not clutter. My whole goal is letting go of the stuff that doesn't bring your joy, doesn't raise your vibration, doesn't doesn't make you happy. But the cameras are HD now on smartphones, on iPads, and all of that. So you really don't need a camera. They're pretty high quality. Now, this one is, again, I see this moving towards the future. Everything you need really now are on the smart tablets and the iPad. So if you're a graphic designer, you're going to need a computer. If you do a lot of stuff like this, especially on TV, you're going to need a computer. But I see a day of us, a majority of people being able to let go of computers and doing everything from their smartphone. So that's right. down the road, but that's just setting, because again, that can save you even more money. Sure. Now finally, if we have time, I have a little repurposing demonstration. We have time? I would never cut you off, but we, we, you, got a, you got a couple seconds. Okay. One of my favorite things. I know we all have our reusable bags Most in the slow, car. Okay, gotcha. But this is, I repurposed a tissue bag to keep um, to keep plastic bags. These are great if you have pets and you're going to the dog cart. 
you know, and you need to, to put their poopies in there, and if you're a pet <laughs> owner, these are fantastic. So repurpose your tissue box. Or you can spend 10 or $15 at the container store. It's really, it's completely your choice. Now, I know we all have these hanging around, plastic bags that with this, a pillow came in this. So this is my emergency thing. I lived in LA for 10 years and there are, it's like, oh, the big one, you're going to die, be prepared. So, you know, I have a thing to get away from Raleigh. I have a change of clothes, I have money, I have whatever I need in case of an emergency. But I'm a huge fan of like the shower curtains, the bedding, these are great to repurpose, they're clear, you can see through them, and write on them with a Sharpie. All right, and then one last thing. I'll do this. Now, we're remodeling the kitchen, and Tony added toe drawers, but ugh, this literally weighs 20 pounds. But this I repurposed an old filing thing, and I want to say states, all states have surplus stores. Here in North Carolina, it's in Raleigh. You can get anything the state has brought. Every state has one, but look to save money and go there for things like office supplies and other fun stuff. But this was great to hold all my cooking sheets and wraps ah. and everything. But again, you have the option if you're like, I need to go to the container store, that's just groovy. But you know, hopefully you've seen items that you have around the house and that you can repurpose it again, just another way to save you money. Look at you saving money. I'm all about it. <laughs> we got a new, new sound effect. <laughs> all right, so we're saving money, we're saving the polar bears. We're recycling, we're repurposing, we're re ring because you had seven of them, and um, and that's awesome, Julie. It, it you know it, it's it's great, and and I had such a nice bond with Julie because again, Julie Julie's out there to not only save her lifestyle, but like you know save the world in a sense, and and, and teach people that there are other options, and and so often, I mean, even myself included, you know, I don't recycle every water bottle I throw away and I feel bad about it because like I'm in a park and they don't have a recycle thing. And you see that all around and you know, it, it's important to, to give back a little bit to the world that we come from. So I appreciate all the time you spent with us, Julia, and you've been on for so long. It's great. I'm giving you a big round of applause over here. Rapid, the world's greatest gift wrap organizer. www. Rapidgiftbag.com